Cunningham with the University of Utah College of Humanities. And today I'm speaking with David Derizotas, Professor of Social Work and Director of the Peace and Conflict Studies Program, an interdisciplinary program that deals with conflicts ranging from interpersonal to the global level. The program enables students to understand the the dynamics of peace and conflict. First, let's start off. Can you just give listeners an idea of what students can expect in this program? You know, everything is play therapy. And medicine men and women who live in the high Andes call their most important spiritual work serious play because we learn best through life, not just through childhood, by enjoying the work we do. So there's a focus in peace and conflict on creating community in the classroom, uh, an inclusive community where all voices are heard. And we emphasize that community building, especially through self-reflection. And we believe that, and there's evidence in the literature, that understanding myself and the conscious use of myself, those are the two most important things in peacemaking. So when students are in this program, can you give me some examples of the types of things they're going to study? We have three required classes. We have an intro class currently taught by our wonderful advisor, Copeland Johnson. And um, it's an overview of the whole arena of peace and conflict studies. Students also are required to take the inclusive dialogue class where if, if you were in this class, I'd ask you, you know, what's a group of people you're uncomfortable with? And you might say folks who uh, live in a certain region or vote a, a certain way politically. And then we'd look at, you know, the biases you have about that group because if you have a brain, you have biases. And then uh, your your job after the first few weeks where we train up is uh, with a partner usually to invite a group of people from the community who have those characteristics into our classroom so we can have a dialogue with them. And the purpose of the dialogue is to create relationships so we can move towards cooperation. The feedback we've gotten from that class is it's often the most useful class anyone took in their undergraduate studies because... The skill of dealing with people who are different than me is something I use from birth to death, right, in my personal and professional life. And so what other type of skills can students expect to gain from this program? Well, again, starting with self-reflection, which sounds like a simple thing, but um, without self-reflection, probably no other skill matters as much. That means knowing how I think and feel, what are my reactions to other people? In the first 30 seconds, I make my mind up about you and you about me when we first meet. And those perceptions tend to persist. Over 85% we think of what we think about each other is projection. It's not real. So self-reflection is a way to figure out how much of what I think about you is really about me. So that's first and foremost what we are interested in. We also teach about you know what the research and theories of, about peacemaking are and what are the causes of root causes of conflict and violence um, like Krishnamurti says you know it's hard to study peace in a world where there's so little so you know focusing on what is violence and why is it there you know and, and why do I get in conflicts uh, you also have the option of studying many other different kinds of things in disciplines of your choice. We give students a lot of flexibility because we believe in treating students like they're adults. And, you know, that you know, you know, you've sacrificed to go to college and come up with tuition money or take the risk of borrowing money, and we respect what you're interested in. So, there, like I said, there's a few requirements. We have an integrative seminar at the end of the program where we get together and look at what we've learned and what we still want to learn. We talk about going to graduate school for those that want to or getting a, some kind of job or getting into a career. And, and that's important to us, too, that our students have support in you know, moving forward after school. What type of careers do you see your students going into after they graduate? We've done some studies, and you know the program's still new, but it really is from A to Z. One of my favorite students... Um, uh, she happened to be from the Middle East. She is now operating a restaurant in another state and uh, having a good time. And she says she uses the skills every day dealing with her employees and the people uh, who come in to want to eat her version of Middle Eastern food. But we have students who work all over the world. 
some for uh, nonprofits, some for governments, um, you know, related to peacemaking or refugee issues. We have uh, people who work here locally, for example, negotiating divorce using peace and conflict study skills. In um, we have people going to graduate school in all different kinds of disciplines, and I hear from them every every once in a while. Are there research opportunities for your students? And if so, what type of research do you, are your students doing? Just got a call today uh, from one of my students who also is in the honors program. We do honor requests for uh, students who are interested in research. A lot of our students actually want to go on and get graduate degrees, even doctorates. Some want to be academics. Some just want to research things that are of interest to them. So, yes, um, if I can't um, work with a student for some reason or another, we'll uh, connect them with someone else who can. Is there anything else you'd like to add about your program that you think students should know? Well, we exist. A lot of people still don't know, even though we uh, talk about our program. And we um, have a piece in conflict studies, minor and major. We have overwhelmingly positive feedback from our students. We And we also like the, how flexible our program is. So it, every student has a, their own unique minor or major that they've put together. If you have any questions, please uh, let us know. Uh, one side note is, um, since I have a little radio program in town, often our students come on the air and um, we'll talk, uh, the program's called The Radical Middle and we try to seek a middle ground around conflicts. And that program is on KRCL, correct? That's right, 90.9. That was David Derizotes of the Peace and Conflict Studies program. Visit humanities.utah.edu for more information about this program and other areas of study in the College of Humanities. 